Hello everybody, today I'm Teresa Maloney, nice to meet ya, and we are going to make some armatures together. To create your armature, you are going to need a piece of tin foil about this size with a pair of scissors, a square piece of cardboard and a sharpie to write your name on it, and a hot glue gun with, of course, some extra hot glue sticks. All right, remember an armature is the underneath part of a sculpture. It helps you not waste materials. We're gonna use something cheap, tin foil, and we're gonna turn it into a person. If your tin foil isn't perfect, it's okay because we're gonna crunch this whole thing up in just a second. Okay, so instead of using a bunch of plaster to create a human body, we're gonna use the cheap stuff. Some aluminum foil or tin foil to create the body. You don't have to do this, but to help you visualize where we're gonna cut this tin foil, I'm gonna draw the lines where you're gonna cut. You're gonna make three cuts. Two on the top and one on the bottom. Once we cut it, you will see that this middle part is going to be the person's head. And the two rectangles on either side are gonna be the arms. The middle part's gonna be the torso and the two pieces at the bottom are gonna be legs. Okay, bear with me here. I'm gonna start cutting this thing on the lines that I drew. See, his legs are free now. He can do a little dance. Next, I'm, I'm gonna cut these two lines up top to set his arms free from his head. Okay, right now he looks like a really silly square person. So we're going to start crunching his little legs gently and slowly so that we don't rip the aluminum foil. Even though it is cheap, we still don't want to waste it. And then we're going to crunch his little arms. Hee <laughs> hee. And then we don't want to stop there. He looks kind of silly. So we are going to squish his torso his chest and back, everything that the arms and legs are attached to. Okay, he's starting to look more normal now, but we need to crunch his head down to be round. So here we go. That looks a lot more normal, but I don't think he's ready yet. And actually, I should call her a she, because she is gonna be a ballerina. So she is almost ready, but I need to do some more crunching to make her look more normal. Okay, slowly but surely, as I keep crunching and squishing the arms and legs, she becomes more like a person and less like a weird tin foil crazy thing. So I'm just gonna crunch down her right arm right here. It looks a little bit too big. And another thing you can do, if one of the arms ended up too long, like right here, you can take some scissors and carefully cut off the ends of the arms or the legs to make them even, like this. All right, perfect. I think she is ready to pose. She's a ballerina, so I want her to be doing like a dance move, like with her arms up in the air and one of her legs kicked out behind her. But first, we are going to create a base. You're gonna take a square piece of cardboard and write your name and code on it and then flip it over. 
it's very important to glue your figure, your human body, onto the base as soon as possible. Because the base at this point is the only thing that has your name on it. So if you want the same person that you made next time, you gotta glue it to the base. It's got your name, so we know it's yours. Let's take a second to talk about safety though. You're gonna be using a hot glue gun to be gluing the body onto the base. When you run out of glue, you're going to put a fresh glue stick in the back of it. Just like that. But I don't need fresh glue right now so it won't go in there. Let's talk about what's hot about this hot glue gun. The metal tip of the hot glue gun is hot, so don't touch it. And the clear glue that comes out of the tip is also very hot, so don't touch the glue after it's come out of the gun. Make sure you do a good job sharing as well. You're gonna have to be sharing these hot glue guns. We don't have enough for everyone to have their own. Okay, let's, let's pose this person in fast motion, check it out, and glue her to the middle of the base. But one thing you're gonna wanna do is create a little foot. You're gonna wanna take at least one of the legs and bend a flat part on the end of it so that you can put the glue there and stick the person onto the base. You're gonna wanna hold it down for 10 seconds. And there you go, you would, you're done with your armature. Wait till next time to put the plaster on it. 